Hey y'all, I'm Shayla and welcome to making lemonade from lemons. And um, if you're, it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Hit like, subscribe, share. Um, if you are back, well actually, I'm the one back. Um, thank you guys for coming back. If you stuck around, I appreciate um, all those of you who didn't give up on me just because I was absent. Um, we had quite a bit of life circumstances that happened. Um, health issues, the pandemic hit our house twice. Um, and then several times whenever I was in the middle of doing filming and trying to get a video out, um, something would happen like January, I filmed a video talking about the peppers that I planned on planting, um, and I even had planned to get my, um, get my peppers in some soil, my pepper seeds in some soil, and, um, that never happened, um, because just a couple of days later, my youngest son decided that he was going to set fire to my kitchen. So I have been busy trying to repair and paint and all that kind of stuff. So it's just been kind of one thing after another, but I'm back and I plan on staying back for quite a while. Um, so I figured that what I would do is while I'm talking to you guys, I am actually going to be planting my pepper seeds, starting them on my seed, seed trays. Um, I have videos, which I will link over here, um, and I actually will also, what I'll do is I will insert a couple pictures toward the end in case you want to see what my kitchen was like right after the fire and then what it looks like now, so I'll insert those over here. Um, anyways, so um, if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm writing, because um, I've got to label all my stuff or I'm actually planting. So I apologize for not speaking directly to so, the camera. So, like I said, I had planned on plan, you know, getting my, my pepper seeds started, um, back in January, actually, I know that a lot of people, um, do plant some of their hot pepper seeds, you know, really early. I was going to do them all because over the last couple of years, I have had some issues with, um, I'm not exactly sure what it is that has happened to them. And so I wanted the roots to be well established and the plants to be thriving before I put them in the bags out there. Um, it, those of you who don't know, I grow inside city limits and I use predominantly grow bags. Um, there's not much over here that is good for growing in the soil with exception of a couple of places around our pool area and around the front of our house. And I apologize, I am downstairs in my basement. So those are grow bags. My grow light setup is over here and, but there's, you know, other stuff because it's my basement, so I apologize if it looks messy, but this is what Boots came down to visit. Um, <laughs> he's a spoiled rotten cat. Um, okay, so let me just kind of go over what I'm doing with my pepper plants this year. Um, what I plan to do is I want to grow enough hot peppers that I can make lots of hot sauce. Um, and then I want to grow enough Pueblo peppers so that I can put that away for green chili for my husband. Um, whether that's Pueblo peppers or hatch peppers, either one works. Booter. Okay. All 
right. Um, so, um, I grew enough Scotch bonnet peppers last year to probably last me a couple of years for, um, using them in, uh, curry chicken, Jamaican curry chicken. So if I grow them this year, which I think I'm going to, um, it will be for hot sauce. Um, but anyways, so what we're doing is I am going to be trying a couple of, of varieties. They're supposed to be bigger in size, um, from Haas Tools. Uh, there is the Gold Rush Banana Pepper, the Aruba Cubanelle. Um, I'm going to try the Iberia Cayenne as well as the Arapaho Cayenne and the Hidalgo um, Poblano. I'm also going to grow, so I guess I could just kind of tell you what I'm growing. Um, I'm also going to try the Big Jim. I don't know if we'll like it, but um, we're going to try the Red Marconi and the Mama Gallo. Um, the, those three are brand new. We haven't had any of those types before, so we'll see if we like them or not. Um, also, we're going to do Greek pepperoncinis as opposed to Italian pepperoncinis because uh, the ones that we've grown in the past have been extremely mild and my husband likes them a little bit spicy. Um, they were good. We canned them this year and they, you know, everybody ate them, but they wanted them to be a little spicy, like the ones you get in the store. Um, so anyways, um, I'm also going to do the Colossus jalapeno. It is supposed to be a little bit hotter, spicier than a normal jalapeno, but we'll see about that. Um, let's see. These are the... Pueblos and the Hatch. The green one is the Hatch. The other two are Pueblo. They're just different varieties. The Moscow uh, Marisol and the Giadone Marisol. Those are the Giadone is hottest and my husband really likes the heat. So um, I'm going to do lemon drop pepper again and I'm also going to grow Carolina Reapers again. I grew them last year and we used them along with a whole bunch of sweet peppers to make some hot sauce and my family really liked it but they wanted, wished that I had added a couple more Carolina Reapers to it. So um, I'm going to grow those again. Um, let's see. I'm also going to grow green bell pepper, which is Emerald Giant. I don't have a, you know, I just have a plain. It's just, it doesn't have a picture to the packet. I'm going to grow the Murasaki Purples again. These were excellent, high-yielding peppers that basically, they're a sweet pepper. And we used them, um, like if we didn't have enough green peppers, but or, you know, bell peppers, but we wanted... To cook with some peppers we would get these and use those because they they were just prolific so I had one or two plants so I think I'm gonna grow more this year because um, especially if I whenever I make the hot sauce with the Carolina Reaper I'm definitely going to use those I have tried three years now to grow Ajvarsky this is going to be the last year I'm going to try them, try to grow them, because if they don't do anything this year, I'm not going to try them again. Um, I have heard such wonderful things about them, but I have never, I have not even been able to taste one of the peppers yet. I will get it to the point of um, blossoming and setting fruit, and then it's time to pull the plants up. So. That's kind of one of the reasons 
I also wanted to start my peppers a little bit early before I put them out there because of that reason. I have had issues with when we set them out, they look beautiful and then they start dropping their leaves and this is no matter whether there is perfect amount of water or not. So I've had them drop all their leaves um, and then start sprouting leaves again and it took them a while to, you know, um, pick back up. I've had rabbits or snails or something clip off the top of the, the plant um, and have to start all over again. This year I was hoping to have them a lot more, more established before I set them out. So if I have to keep them inside a little bit longer, even after it warms up outside, I will just to make sure that it is, that they're really nice, full looking plants before I set them out. This is a new one to me, a Tuda. Um, it's supposed to be a sugary sweet when ripe, so we'll see. We're also going to try the yellow monster one more time. I haven't gotten it I haven't gotten it to grow at all. And then I'm also going to grow shishito peppers again. Shishitos always do well. And lilac bell peppers, we like those. As well as the do de Espana is another one that this is the last year. If it doesn't do well, then we're not gonna do those anymore. One of the ones that we are going to grow this year, um, this one is new to Baker Creek, but they have the ahi pineapple, and we grew the ahi pineapple last year, and we loved those. It was extremely prolific, and uh, we probably had more peppers on two plants than we've ever had. It was crazy. I was constantly picking those peppers, but they were so good in hot sauce. And my family really enjoyed that hot sauce. So I'm going to grow the Cristal instead because I don't know. I can't find any of the ahi pineapple seeds. I bought those and I was going to grow both. But I guess I'm just growing those this year. It's fine. Um, I'm also going to grow Sugar Rush Peach again. I'm hoping to have more of these plants that are productive because... I only had one plant that was productive this last year, and um, it wasn't super productive, but it makes a really tasty pepper and, and a, a tasty hot sauce. So um, I'm gonna, I'm hoping that those um, do well. I'm also going to be growing Tabasco peppers again. Tabasco peppers are fantastic. This last year. I harvested them and I basically just, in order to make the Tabasco sauce, I, as I picked them and I, I went ahead and measured it out enough, I made the, basically I made the mash and I started just with a few peppers at a time and made the mash and just added to the mash as they ripened and then the end of the season of course I finished up all of the ones that we had and then I let it sit for probably four months and it just made a really delicious thick sauce. The company that makes the original Tabasco sauce they ferment their peppers for a year to three years I decided I was going to let it go longer than I normally do, and it did make a much better sauce fermenting it longer, and that's what I plan on doing for all of my peppers this year. Whenever I do pepper sauce, I plan on letting it ferment for a lot longer. We do have quite a bit of sauce. It, I'll be able to do that. We won't be in a hurry to get sauce. All right, so these are ones I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if we're going to grow these or not. I absolutely adored this tiny little pepper. I probably will grow it just because it was so beautiful. The plant has purple and white and green variegated leaves. And the peppers themselves, you know, they start out green and then they turn colors. And... 
they end up being, you know, just various colors. So, um, just beautiful. And they are spicy. I didn't grow, I grew these one year, not last year, but I grew these two years ago. And I wasn't, I didn't have enough to make into hot sauce, but I actually would like to try that this year because they're spicy little pepper. They're really good though. Um, I have, the, I had these from last year or maybe the year before. Caligaritza. I'm not really sure if I'm going to, if I'm going to try this this year. Maybe. We'll see. I'm planting now, so <laughs> let's see if I get them in the ground. These are the Buena Mirladas. I never really had any luck with any of them producing, so I'm not sure if I will. I might try them this year. We'll see. I want to focus more on production and less on the amount of varieties. So I have, if I have to cut the varieties, then I, I will. But the red savina, I tried to grow that last year, and it didn't, it never even blossomed. So I'm not sure if I'm going to grow those or not. Then there's this black Hungarian. Now this one, I would like to try to grow. I never got it to, to um, germinate last year. So we'll see, I'm not sure. That's kind of the plans for us, for what peppers we're going to be planting for the year. It's more about production and making sure we have enough food put away, that kind of thing. I do love trying new varieties, and I do have quite a few new varieties this year. But I'm hoping that I have plenty of plants that will germinate and and I'm hoping that they will be very productive. I am going to be moving things around a little bit in my garden area. I seem to do that every year. When it comes to grow bags, gardening and grow bags, it is a blessing, but it's also challenging. So we'll see what I get done. So a little bit about what is going to be going on with my channel. Like I said, I am back and I do plan on making sure that I am putting out at least two videos a week. Currently we only have, I think, three quail left um, after we butchered and had some that died and I mean if anyone who has raised quilt knows that you know they have a very short lifespan so we only have a few quail left and I'm not currently going to be buying any more eggs or anything to hatch until we have a better setup because currently where the last three are residing is not the best. Um, it was it was basically a you know they're basically in rabbit pens that had been um, reinforced with the um, quarter inch hardware cloth and they worked for a while but um, they started to break. They are, even though they say that they're for outdoors, they are not built for outdoors. So I need to build um, a bigger, sturdier um, habitat for them before I think about getting any more. So currently, the ones that we have are all that we're going to have until they're, I believe they're all males too. So um, I won't get any eggs from them. We're just, they are my kids favorite so I'm just gonna let them be we're gonna feed them and you know whatever so <laughs> so that's that for um for our quail at the moment I do love hatching quail I do love taking care of quail um so we will get back to it it's just that currently it's not you know 
it's just not a, a good setup and I don't want to bring other quail and then it be, you know, dangerous for them. So until I'm able to get a new habitat, that's where we are. Um, this year I am doing, I'm not going to be growing, um, certain things like green beans, um, because we grow those over at my mom and dad's house. Hi, Roger. Hi, dear. Yes. You smell the rose? That doesn't look that way. Okay. We are going to grow some corn, but we will grow less corn than we did last year because um, my husband is now diabetic and he cannot have it um, as much and so um, he does very good with not eating things that he's not supposed to eat um, but I don't you know I try not to tempt him too much so we will have it but we won't have as much so that frees up a little bit of space over there for some things. Um, we already have garlic growing now. We're also going to be growing more onions than we did last year because they turned out. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> what you looking at, Boots? <laughs> the onions last year were phenomenal. But they look phenomenal right now. Um, we just grew a cover crop of mustard over the winter um, and some turnip greens for the New Year's. Um, so I pretty much harvested most of the greens. There are still some turnips in the bag. They're there and they are still fine. Um, but that's, you know, I, we didn't um, we didn't grow for a lot. Um, I do have some cabbages out in my, one of my planters, but, um, I'm probably, I'm probably not going to get anything from it because I haven't spent any time at all with it. We didn't even clean out our garden area like we should have because of all the health issues and stuff. So we've got a lot of cleaning out to do pretty much just this winter took this winter off and you know it was, it was a it was a conscious it was a conscious effort um, after we got sick the first time I had absolutely no energy I pretty much had to let go of my crochet because of my shoulder issues and I did, however, pick up knitting, and the motions are a lot smaller than crochet, and so um, whenever I was not feeling well this past winter, I was able to sit and do some knitting. I'm really actually very excited about this growing season uh, because of some of the changes that I am making in what I'm growing and how I'm growing things. Um, so the plans are for the front part of the garden is um, that is where I have the big 200 gallon grow bags and um, so they're like raised beds really. Um, I plan on planting two of those with um, green arrow peas which those will go out there the beginning of um, well actually they'll go out soon they'll go out within the next couple of weeks if possible it's going to depend on the weather but I'm going to just I'm going to direct sow them uh, I know people think that that's funny if I say that because I actually have sewed them inside and then and then planted them outside later um, and transplanted them and they did beautifully so 
And the reason I did that was to kind of get a jump on the growing season. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to direct sow them soon because they can stand, the plants themselves can stand some frost. And then, so then by the time that it starts really warming up, then they will be ready to produce. Then I, like I said, I have garlic already out there. They're in three wooden boxes um, that my husband brought home from his job and I use them as planters and they're phenomenal. Um, I had one of those last year for onions and it worked really well. I have another one that I have that I'm going to use to do onions. It's a brand new one so I'm going to have to fill it with soil and stuff. Um, and also another you know, one of the 200 gallon gray bags will have onions in them as well. Cause we did the onions last year and they grew phenomenally out front. After that is done, they would plan on planting a round of baby lima beans, which are, they're a pain to pick. Um, I think that it's because they're bush, bush type beans and, um, you have to feel the pods and so it's just, a pain to pick. Worse than green beans, bush green beans in my opinion. So I would rather pick bush green beans all day long than have to put pick the baby lima beans. So boots keep running back and forth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the green beans at my mom and dad's house because they have the in you know in ground garden, the huge garden. So it's like a quarter of an acre approximately. Actually, it's more like a third of an acre. But anyways, so we're going to do that with the green beans. We'll grow those over there. Um, and then over here, we'll do the baby lima beans because we won't have to bend down so far to pick them. And um, so it won't be as hard on my... I have problems with my back, but so do my parents. And my parents are... My dad's going to be 78 this year, and he's going strong, so. Um, but he does have back problems, and it hurts him a lot to pick uh, lima beans. So, they will be over here, and of course, the boys will help. Um, then, I will also have the peppers in their separate grow bags over there as well. And I'm expanding those. We have lots more bags um, that I never even used last year. So I plan on filling those and um, spacing out the peppers a little bit more. And so I should have plenty of room for peppers this next year. Uh, tomatoes. I'm only doing predominantly Amish paste again this year. It worked out fa fantastic last year. I did have some issues with the tomatoes last year um, starting to rot before they even ripened. I'm not sure why, um, but I'm planning on trying to fix that this year. Uh, but I'm going to be doing tomatoes, the Amish paste tomatoes, the better boy tomatoes. I will do a few of those. And then, um, I might do one each of the, um, Dr. Wikes or Dr. Dr. Witchies, whatever, however you pronounce it. And, um, the black beauties. I also plan on doing, um, cherry tomatoes, but I'm not sure which kind. I think I might go with sun gold, but I'm not sure. Or maybe sun sweet. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm not doing okra this year at all. I don't even know if I'm going to do any watermelon or anything like that, although I would love to, but until we are able to take some trees down, it's just not um, our, our lot is just too shaded, really. Uh, so 
I'm going to do in the front on the side where I do the tomatoes, I'm going to do just a wall of cucumbers that I'm going to run up the Hortanova trellis. Um, so I'm going to do that. I will grow corn back behind the tomatoes again and then um, I'm, I'm going to be cleaning out I had we had gotten started last year doing it and we're going to continue and I'm hoping to get more done this year cleaning out the areas back where the the pool is fenced in the pool is not functional um, at this point I mean I would love to get our pool back up and running but it's in ground and the we had a hurricane several years ago that came through that damaged the pump and then an animal got in and scratched the liner and cut the liner and so we would have so much that we would have to repair thousands of dollars worth of repair so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that, so we may fill it in instead. I don't know. Um, we'll see. If we do, then um, we'll get across that bridge when we come to it. But until then, I would love to clean out those areas back, back there where it was dirt and soil and stuff anyways. And plant flowers, sunflowers, you know, whatever. Just, just something pretty. I have dahlias that I need to plant, and maybe I'll plant some there. Um, I don't know if my strawberries have made it, and if they didn't, then I will need to plant strawberries again next year. Um, anyways, so those are kind of our plans this year. I'm excited for the peppers, the different varieties of peppers. I'm hoping that they do well. I am excited about getting this season started. I'm excited about, um, cause my, my family loved the pickles that we made this year. So I'm excited to make a whole lot more because we need a lot more. We also need a lot more tomato sauce. We need a lot of salsa. I need a lot of green salsa for making, um, chili verde, which is, or we just call it green chili, but, um, it's, something that my husband grew up on and it's delicious um, but I need green I need salsa verde in order to make it so I'm growing tomatillas for that um, yeah so anyway so thank you guys for spending time with us today and I appreciate everyone who is dropping by and I appreciate everybody who stuck around with me and didn't give up on me. We'll see you soon.